We used YouTube as a main source of influence as it allowed us to research various movie trailers. This helped us choose what scenes we would end up making. It also gave us ideas to film scenes from different angles and add a variety of shots such as the close-up or the panning shot. Another website we have used is freesound.org in order to find specific sound effects which we could then add to our trailer. One of the main technologies we used for planning were our mobile phones. By messaging and calling each other we stayed organised throughout the project. It also allowed us to remind each other about bringing any other equipment to our film sets. Researching makeup tutorials on YouTube allowed us to construct our own version of the clown. This also made us look for specific makeup and face paint to use in our poster, magazine and trailer. During the planning of our magazine, we looked at what other magazines had and planned what we would put on our own. We decided to include a BAFTA special title because our own film was to be released during the week of the BAFTA awards. We also wanted to have a very effective picture at the cover of the magazine. We planned to take the picture on set but not during filming. This challenges the conventions of the magazine having the main character in the casual clothes. In the construction of our movie poster and magazine, the main piece of technology used was Photoshop. In the poster, we used it to edit the original picture in order to match it with our own plan design. We used the dodge and burn tools to adjust the picture's brightness to what we wanted it to be. We also used the pen tool to select specific parts of the picture. This tool allowed us to make selection a lot more precise. For example, in the original picture we couldn't get the nails back to how they were in the initial picture. I took the hand selection from the first picture and copied it onto the poster picture. I have then used the warp mode of the transform tool to stretch specific parts of the hand and map it onto the plain one. The magazine was a lot harder than the poster as it required me to create each piece of text and make it look professional. I started off by looking at an old cover layout from Empire magazine. This gave me a rough idea where the text should be placed so I made a grid based on that. I then added the black background as I knew that I had to edit our text around the colour scheme of red, black and white. First of all, we added the title of our magazine. We wanted it to be short but effective. After doing research we decided to call it Fuzz Film. As our primary font we used Boris Black Blocks which we found on dafont.com. When I placed the text I realised it was very small so I used the transform tool to stretch it out. I have then added the text Film in black inside of the Z, an idea I got from Total Film. I then added what was inside the magazine, starting off with the header page 27 and starring. This started to add to the conventions of the magazine. I have then added titles underneath in small bold font of movies that are coming out on the left hand side, an exclusive interview with Chloe Moretz on the right. As the 24 BAFTAs are in February, we decided to add a BAFTA special heading. Underneath I put down the potential BAFTA nominees. I then added a film reel on the bottom of the magazine. In the white boxes I then added exclusive movie stores from pre-release that I found on empireonline.com. I then added a barcode. Since I have found the barcode on the internet, it didn't have the correct date. I edited the date of our magazine and added the price in the same formatting as the previous version. I have then added the amazing 2014 Days of the Future Past preview on top of the magazine. I used the actual X-Men logo as it looked a lot more professional. I have also added a website underneath the Z to add to the magazine conventions. Finally I added an image to the magazine but I had to carefully crop it so that the head was in front of the fuzz. I have then added the Amy title in the font that we used originally in the poster and the trailer in order to link them together. I then added the text underneath the title with a magazine tagline, Meet the Mind Behind the Clown. Clearing the guides revealed the final product. In the production of the trailer, we started off by uploading all of our clips to Final Cut Pro. We then found items on YouTube and uploaded them to Final Cut as well. After that, we wanted to finish uploading all of the material so we could edit everything a lot faster, so we moved on to creating intertitles on Photoshop. We used simple text intertitles as we found out in our research that most films just use plain text. We found out in our research that the trailer focused more on sound effects and soundtrack as opposed to intertitles. We also found out that they tend to match the teaser trailer intertitles with the music in the background. For example, in the scene of Apocalypse tra teaser trailer, the music is really fast paced 
and then becomes really quiet as soon as the intertitle appears. We use a similar technique in our trailer. After our fast pace part finishes, the sound effect underneath it stops as well, changing the mood and making it calmer. Now that we have all of our clips uploaded, it was back to the planning in order to look at our own storyboards. Since we knew what we wanted the trailer to look like from the beginning, it was easy to just arrange the clips. Firstly, we sorted the clips in order, cropping each one and changing the timings of the clips so that the trailer flowed. We used the Select and Blade tools in order to arrange and crop our clips. After arranging the clips, I put the soundtrack tiptoe through the tulips in the background and started editing and cropping clips to the song. For example, the music starts as soon as the character in the clip starts walking. This is effective as it makes the clips flow. We added the fade to black to most of the clips which added continuity to the trailer as the transitions used was the same each time. Because the effect was slow, this added a mysterious and eerie effect to the clip. Some clips were also too slow or too fast, therefore we had to speed up or slow down certain clips in order to make them fit the soundtrack. For example, the clip of Amy looking up was a lot quicker than we expected it to be, and in order to set the correct atmosphere to the trailer, we needed to make it slower. This made it feel like she was a lot more scared than she looked when the clip was at her original speed. Afterwards, we realised that the soundtrack was a bit too plain. We decided to add a background noise from the Final Cut Pro music library called Control Room Strange. We picked it because it complemented the main soundtrack without overpowering it. Towards the end of the editing we realised that we had a lot of unused clips, mainly because these clips either weren't good enough to use or had no, we had no place to put them. We noticed in some trailers they used a lot of fast clips that were only shown for about a split second. We decided to do that for our own trailer, by cropping our unused clips and putting them right next to each other. This element gave the trailer more tension and made it a lot more fast paced. When we finished putting the clips together, we noticed it was a bit too plain and needed a sound effect to work properly. We found the sound effect on freesound.org, which we put in straight away. The sound effect was called Distant Boom and it added a really eerie atmosphere to the soundtrack. Twitter was the main piece of technology used in the evaluation of our products, as we used it to gather feedback from the audience of 16 to 18 year olds already established by Ashley. By posting the magazine, poster and the link to our trailer on Twitter, we got really useful feedback from our audience. I have also used a program called Fraps in order to record my screen whilst I'm editing the poster and magazine. In conclusion, technology was extremely vital in the entire process of filmmaking as we have used it for almost every stage of it.